Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my series of videos. So for those of you interested in flying the simulator for the 737NG, I'll be doing a load of videos, uh, everything from shutting down the airplane, starting it up, use of the APU, and various flight modes, and plotting routes, flying routes, ILSs, and pretty much anything else anybody would like me to show them. So first of all then, we've shut the airplane down to the point where nothing pretty much works and we're just about to close the airplane up for the night so just one last thing to do as you can see nothing of any use on the screens so we just go to the overhead lower panel and we just have the battery light battery switch i should say so turn the battery switch off and you lose all the lights uh, ground power is available should be the only blue light that you leave on and just to show you so that's good it's not going to drain the battery for the night and to start everything up from a completely dead airplane in the morning uh, we go back to the lower panel and basically put the guarded switch back down couple of other checks we check that the standby power guard is closed alternate flaps master switch up here is wired closed anyway electric hydraulic pump switch is off so here's the hydraulic pumps the two on the outer are the engine driven pumps and the two inner are the electric pumps so they're up ups for off landing gear lever down down three green lights and no reds for a landing gear disagree so once we've established ourselves here we can make use of switched on the in the flight sim actions the ground connections so we have chocks are set and ground power is connected so if you've not already got that set, you need to get that on. And then once we've established that, we can use the ground power. Select that to on. You can see here then that the bus off lights have extinguished, which means your electrical power onto the buses. Uh, the generators are offline, obviously the engines aren't running. And then the aeroplane sprung back into life as it was just before we shut everything down. Okay, so once we've done that, we can then remove the ground power once we've established our own connection. So the next thing to do... is to start the APU standard practice uh, to save the fuel control unit of the APU is to run a fuel pump so we switch a fuel pump on to start we'd use the center tank if there was fuel in the center tank but we haven't got that and here's the APU switch so on and down to start and you'll start to see this spring into life And then once, usually takes about a minute in real life, uh, If uh, once it's up and running, you'll see the availability light here. So here we go, APU Gen off bus. So that shows that there's power available here. Uh, you need to independently put this onto uh, both sides of the buses. So we'll select on here so if you can see here source off because I've not s chosen to select that side even though by selecting this side the bus transfer then will supply power to this side you then put that on and then that shows that you've selected the power to the buses on both sides so now we can get rid of the ground power And 
power removed. There you go, the light's gone out from the ground power. So we're self contained now, the APU is generating electrical power for us. So to um, put the air conditioning on, so the APU bleed is off at the moment. So keep everyone cool. APU on. And you can see you have the dual bleed light here for those of you interested in the technical side of it because you have the two bleeds on even though the engine isn't running here it's telling you that you have two selected turn that off that goes off so make sure that you're not pressurizing the system with uh, the engine bleed air and back pressure in the APU so that's it we are self-contained we have um, electrical power and air for air conditioning packs that's it it's only a short video just uh, just to whet your appetite just to get power onto the airplane normally most of the time the engines are running so it's trying to start everything right from the beginning so you can see the airplane dead with no power on it at all to generate in it its own electricity hope you enjoyed the video and uh, move on to the next one to set up the FMC